Mr. Clark, let's turn now to one of our most mouth-watering delicacies, the white bait. It is pricey to buy, by golly, but one of its great qualities is any one of us with a net and a bit of spare time has a chance to catch it. But just as this new season gets underway, a man who's studied the state of our waterways has a warning. He says if we continue to pollute our rivers at the current rate, we might destroy the white bait fishery for good. Richard Langston reports on how we've endangered a great Kiwi tradition. A slow, peaceful morning whitebaiting, one of the great pleasures of spring. And there's no shortage of whitebaiters this morning on the Waikanae River, on the east coast just north of Wellington. But there is a shortage of whitebait. And experienced whitebaiters believe that's not down to the usual fluctuations of weather and tide, but a much deeper, more serious and underlying problem. The habitat up here has been knocked around over the years and um, the days when they used to get a lot of white bait in this river have long gone and you've got to really work for them now. And here's the trouble, dirty polluted rivers, too dirty for fish to live in or for white bait to breed in. This is, this is the bottom of this river, there's, I mean there's no, nothing much is going to live in that at all. Where there used to be stones and boulders where the, where the, um, the white bait adults would live now it's just coated with this stuff. It's, there's, there'll be a riverbed underneath there somewhere, but there's probably metres of this stuff. Mike Joy is a Massey University environmental scientist. He's been researching the state of rivers and estuaries where white baits spawn, and he believes they're in such a bad state, we're in danger of all but losing the white bait fishery. If we don't do something quickly, we won't have these species anymore. We have to start doing something. If you look at, at the, you know, the the numbers of them around here, and, and, and this is representative of the whole country, you know, we just can't find them in places where they were 10 years ago. That's how quickly it's happening. Clean stretches of water like this where whitebait can breed are becoming an increasing rarity, and two types of whitebait are now officially endangered. This river in the hills of the Manawatu is where at least four of the five whitebait species can still be found. But the problem is many white bait never make it here to grow into adult galaxids like these. The rivers they have to swim through have been dammed, blocked, drained or polluted by factories and farms. We're just having this massive, um, massive increase in pressures on fresh water and, and the galaxids are, are the miners canary that are telling us that they just can't handle it, they're just starting to disappear, they're the sensitive organisms in the system that are dropping out. Even the country's whitebait stronghold, the west coast of the South Island, is in decline. A Department of Conservation survey shows that two-thirds of spawning areas are damaged. We know that overall there is a decline and we know that we're going into places where traditionally we've found adult galaxids, um, which make up the whitebait, uh, and not finding them there now. So it is a concern, it is certainly something that, that we are wanting to work on and, and try to, to fix, but we can't do it alone. Mike Joy says we need to clean up their spawning areas and the rivers, but that'll take decades. In the meantime, to take the pressure off the fishery, he proposes something radical, banning the sale of whitebait. While they're worth so much money, then there's always that incentive there for more and more people to go out and fish them. And if we could take that incentive away and just have people catching whitebait, if they want to feed a whitebait, that right of New Zealand is to be able to go and catch a feed of whitebait will still be there. Well, it is something that we could look into, but banning the sale of commercial sale of whitebait isn't necessarily going to reduce the effort. So there might just be just as many recreational fishers who come and fill the gaps of where commercial fishers would have been. So it's almost like I said, that ambulance at the bottom of the cliff thing, and I think what we really need to address in this country is water quality and water protection. Mike Joy is speaking out because he believes something precious is at stake, the future of whitebait and whitebaiting, and the very health of our rivers and waterways. We're going backwards fast on water quality in New Zealand, and, and there's just a denial, complete denial, from, from industry through to central and local government. And as, while that denial continues, you know, this is the only thing that we can do in the meantime until people start being honest about what's happening and start measuring the right things to show us what's happening to our rivers.